Hello and welcome to the second part of our tutorials covering all the radar builders. Now, as I mentioned, we do have the compass now on our 3D radar. And we're looking at basic tracking in this video. So what I'm going to want to do here is I want these two radars to track some objects in the scene. So I'm going to create some game objects and place them all around the scene. So I'm going to go to game object, uh, 3D object, and then create a sphere. And I'm going to move it out a bit. And I'm going to call this player. I'm going to create a cube. And I'm going to call this enemy. And I'm going to give it a tag of enemy. And we're going to give the player a tag of player. Now we're just going to zoom out a bit. And we're going to grab the enemy object here. We're going to proceed to just drag it out into the scene. And we're going to duplicate it a couple times. I'm just going to place it all around us. then we're gonna move it uh, through the y-axis give them all different heights all right there we go now we have some objects in our scene that we can track so I'm going to go ahead and select the 2D radar here. And then we're going to look over into our blips section. Now blips are the graphical representation of objects in our scene that we're currently tracking. By default, all of the radars require a center object and will always have a center object. Again, by default, this center object is usually your player. So we're going to go ahead and turn on this center object blipped by blip by clicking this power button to the upper right and at the bottom of this folder you'll see create blip as sprite from object tagged player on layer and it says default you need to change that to radar ui so that the render camera can render this blip now we're also tracking some enemies. So we want to increase the number of our other blip types to one. And we're gonna just quickly turn this on. We're gonna open up the foldout and we're gonna look down here. We're gonna see create blip as sprite from object tagged, on tag, we need to tell it enemy and on layer radar UI so the render camera can render it. Now we're just gonna quickly head back up to the player area here. Now, there are quite a few functions here, and we'll cover this in uh, the next tutorial where we look at advanced tracking. But for now, we're just going to work with doing a, a design of our blip so that we can uh, see what we're tracking. So it's going to be a sprite. So we say create blip as sprite. We could use a mesh or a, uh, a, a sprite or a prefab, not a mesh. If, if you select mesh, then you'll see it says meshes are not supported for 2D blips. It will fall back to Sprite. So we're just going to go ahead and select Sprite. Now I'm going to select a Sprite to represent our center object here. I'm going to use this particular Sprite. I'm going to give it the uh, default Sprite material. I'm going to give it a blue color. And we're going to go down to rotation and scale and we're going to set the scale to 0 0.1 or 0 0.1 0 .1, i guess all right and that covers that and the next thing that we're going to do we're going to do the same thing for the enemy so we're going to select a sprite here to represent our enemies we're going to use this blip we're going to give it a default sprite material 
I'm going to give it a all right color and then we go down to rotation and scale and we're going to set the scale for this to 0 0.2 and we're just going to go ahead and run this scene here and see what we get so what we'll notice is that we'll be seeing our blips in our 2d radar we haven't actually set up blips for our 3d radar yet so you won't be seeing anything in the 3d radar but in the 2d radar to the lower left you'll be seeing our blips all right and everything looks like it's been scaled pretty nicely which is good so i'm going to exit the play mode now and we're going to do the same thing for the 3d radar now same for the 2d radar setting up center objects the same way so we just turn that on and we just go ahead and set up that sprite Now for the 3D radars, you can actually use uh, mesh sprite and pref or prefabs. If you use a mesh, you can uh, use different LODs, which I'll show you later on. Now, this has already been set up. We just did the basic settings here. So I'm gonna just close that fold out. Let's just check again, see if we've, nope, we haven't assigned it uh, sprites to this one yet. Let's go ahead and default sprite material. Let's give it a color. And that's that. So we're just gonna go ahead and run this scene now. And what you'll see is that our 3D radar and our 2D radar are now um, displaying objects in them. They're tracking the enemy and the player in the scene and they're rendering them inside of the radar. Now, let me just go to the scene view here uh, looks like we could we forgot something we need to put this on the correct layer Let's go here radar ui all right and you notice that we accidentally just set this to mesh so let's uh correct that so this accidentally set this to mesh we just set it back to sprite and for rotation and scale, we need to set to 0 0.2. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and run this. And we'll just take a look at our 3D radar. You'll see that the radar will now be rendering those objects that it's tracking. All right, but this is still quite basic. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you some advanced tracking. So we'll be implementing tracking lines and doing a whole lot more designing to the radar itself to make it not only look much better but function much better and we're going to do some performance optimization again without having to write a single line of code so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video